Welcome back. It's Patrick Christie's tonight on GB News. Tomorrow's newspaper front pages are coming very soon. But first, unveiling his new definition of extremism earlier today, Michael Gove named several groups that could fall foul of these changes. Organisations such as the Muslim Association of Britain, which is the British affiliate of the Muslim Brotherhood, and other groups such as CAGE and MEND give rise to concern for their Islamist orientation and views. We will be holding these and other organisations to account to assess if they meet our definition of extremism and will take action as appropriate. But with the official list of banned groups not set to be published for a few weeks, that was the, the short list, if you will, many more groups could also be named and shamed. One such group, though, is the Muslim news outlet Five Pillars. Uh, I am joined now by the editor of Five Pillars, Rocha Mohammed Sali, and the deputy chair of the Conservative Muslim Forum, Naveed Ashkar, and Just Stop Oil spokesperson, Ben uh, Roshan, as well. So we've got, we've got the proper gallery, we've got the full house. Brilliant stuff, fantastic. Um, so, look, um, I'm just going to start with Roshan. You, you expected to be named today by Michael Gove. Um, what happened? Yeah, I mean, all the media reports indicated that we would be named. I saw a draft speech of Michael Gove's parliament address. Word for word, he said the same thing, apart from discarding five pillars. So it was obviously a last-minute decision. I think, mm. personally, uh, they pulled out because in Gove's speech, he mentioned that freedom of speech would be safeguarded. So if he targeted a media organisation, for the effectively labeling a media organization as extremist for the first time in British history, I think that would have been a contradiction. Therefore, he dropped us. Mm. No, it's, it's, it's interesting, actually. And, and, and by the way, can I just say, I'll, I'll come back to you. I, I, think, I think we might actually be in a, a relatively rare point of agreement here, which is I, I also think what Michael Gove is doing is uh, uh, absolute cobblers. So, you know, there we go. But um, I will, uh, I'll just bring in uh, now the Deputy Chair of the Conservative Forum, Naveed Ashkar. Now, Naveed, um, I understand from one of my researchers that, that you have spoken out against perceived um, uh, Islamism or, or, or extremist tendencies before and then received quite a bit of pushback, have you, from... From, from, from certain people. Could you just tell us a bit about that, please? Well, look, here's the thing. You're, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. And obviously, being of Muslim origin myself, I always try to keep a fair playing uh, field on this and trying to take in what the government is saying and trying to put that information back out into the community. And there will always be elements there that don't like what's been said. Um, and so mm. you're always going to get pushback. But it's not going to stop me coming out and, you know, um, saying what I see, because we have access to government um, through the, the Conservative Muslim Forum, and we're, we're dealing with um, CCHQ, and we're dealing with the party. So we're getting information firsthand, as opposed to what's get printed in the media. Right, OK. Um, I am just going to bring in Ben, now from Just Stop Oil. Ben, I suppose there is a case, right, that you guys could be or should be on this list. I mean, you know, bringing traffic to a whole... I mean, there have been acts of criminal damage, haven't there, threats to bring airports to a standstill, etc. I mean, plenty of people would argue, Ben, that that is pretty extremist stuff. Hi, Badrick. Uh, thanks for having me on. Um, Michael Gove can argue what he likes, to be honest. Uh, Just Stop Oil isn't an extremist organisation. We live in extreme times, that's for sure. And Just Stop Oil is a group of ordinary people who are saying, we're not going to take this line down. If the government wants to push ahead with extremist policies, we're going to stand up and resist them. Right, OK. Uh, Roshan, I want to ask you now, if you guys are actually included in this, in this Michael Gove's long list of extremist organisations, which may well happen, right, and Just Stop Oil aren't, <laughs> how would you feel about that? I'm not bothered. I mean, I think Michael Gove is an extremist himself, and he's a warmonger. He has, he's got a, a particular target. He's got this mad crusade that he's been launching for many years against Islamists. He basically took down several Birmingham schools, which were high performing, because he said they allegedly were run by Islamists. So he's got this mad obsession. Uh, I don't care if the government doesn't. I don't want government funding. They can keep their dirty money for us all. all I, I want to preserve my independence, you know? So I don't care about government funding. I don't care about uh, being hosted by government institutions. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. It might bother some of the other groups on the list, um, mm. like men's and, and others who have penetration into politics, which is their right as British citizens. Uh, they're a peaceful organization. But personally, it doesn't bother me. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, if we're put on that list, it will just increase... 
uh, our fans, our followers, our donations. It's the holy month of Ramadan. We solicit donations from our community. Those will completely explode if Michael Gove mm. does this. Can I, can I just ask, I'll just stick with you on this. Is that not quite concerning, though, that if the government decides that you are classed as extremists and then a load of people in Britain decide that they want to donate to you off the back of that, does that not imply that we do have a problem with extremism there? No, it doesn't at all. It just means that uh, people disagree with Michael Gove and the government and support us, uh, which millions of people do. OK, uh, Naveed, I'll, I'll get you to, to come back to that. Look, Five Pillars is a website, um, they, they do their job. I'm just going to go back to what Michael Gove said today. He was very clear and iterated that he's not attacking uh, free freedoms of speech, he's not uh, attacking uh, protest. He's not attacking the Muslim community. Um, the definition was last uh, updated in 2011. It was time for the, uh, to be updated. Uh, Mark Rawley, also the Met Commissioner, had said it was uh, it's moving in the same direction that he wanted it to move. Um, you know, they've just pinpointed what they exactly want to happen here. Um, so freedom of speech is not being curtailed. If organisations, I, I, I'm not saying anything about any of the organisations named. I'm not privy to that information. If organisations are on the list, there'll be good reason. The government will have good reason. They would have done their research and. Uh, uh, it's not set in law, it's no criminality being given. All it said is that government will not be uh, uh, engaging with them or funding them. This is one of the reasons why I think this is, frankly, a load of rubbish from Uncle Gove, for exactly what I think I'm about to ask Ben now, which is, uh, Ben, even if Just Stop Oil were on this list of government extremists, how would that affect Just Stop Oil? Not, not at all. There we I go. mean, yeah. Michael Gove can say what he wants. But I, I'd just like to actually focus on what he did say. He said an extremist is someone who negates or destroys the fundamental rights or freedoms of others. Mm. Michael Gove needs to have a look in the mirror, right? If, if we don't have the right to adequate housing because all our homes are underwater, if we don't have the right to food because we've got no crops, we, we've got crop failure and no, no food on the shelves, where does that lead us? Michael Gove and this Tory government are the clear extremists. And if you go on the street and ask ordinary people in Britain, that's what you're going to hear as well. There's no faith in this government, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, Just Stop Oil uh, won't be uh, cowed. Well, you also can't be. There's no, there isn't a do powers of arrest here. This is just the government saying we're not going to give you any money, which they weren't giving you anyway, essentially. Uh, look, all of you, thank you very, very much. Um, I, I would really enjoy to have all of you back on at some point again. I know it was quite short and sweet for each of you, but I do appreciate it. I wanted to show the, the range of different issues there at play here, so thank you. Uh, that was the editor of Five Pillars, Rojan Mohammed, uh, Sally, the deputy chair of the Conservative Muslim Forum, Naveed Ashgar, and Just Up All spokesperson, Ben. Right, OK. Okay, so um, what do you make of all of that? GBviews at gbnews.com. But coming up